Hi everyone, here's a quick video on using the clone stamp and the healing tool in Pixlr online or it would be very very similar to be using it also in Photoshop. Alright, so what are we, we going to be working on today? So we're going to start off by using the healing brush to kind of clean up the grass on this soccer field and the clone stamp to remove this whole defensive player in white right here. Alright, so we first need to download the image and we're going to clean up the grass chunks, as said, and remove the player in the white uniform. And as a reminder, as we follow along, we're going to make sure you make plenty of adjustments using different stamp sizes and softnesses for the brush. All right, and you're going to try to make this look as real as possible. That's where it's going to get a little tricky with the clone stamp. All right, so on this image, you want to right-click and save image as. Click on that, save it, and then go ahead and, and that'll download it to your Google Drive. And I'm going to go ahead and jump over to this uh, Pixlr tab, and let's go ahead and open it up. So I'm going to not load URL. I'm not, I didn't save the web address. Let's go to open image and scroll on down, find it in your, in your Google Drive. And there we go. Let's go and open up this soccer picture. All right. Um, and as always, my personal preference is a good habit. Always make a copy of your layer before we get started. So on this background layer, I'm going to right click, duplicate, turn off the lower one, even though it is locked. All right. My preference control plus on my keyboard control plus allows us to zoom in spacebar to drag this page over. All right. So here's the two tools. We've got the clone stamp and we've got the healing tool. All right. The stamp. Well, let's start with the healing tool. On the healing tool, again, just like any other brush, you can increase or decrease the size by using the up here at the top, you can change it, or the comma and the period on your keyboard to adjust the size. Now, my recommendation is um, to make your brush just a little bit bigger of the area that you want to heal or clean up. Now, what the healing brush does is it takes all the pixels, if I click right here on this dark spot, it's gonna take the pixels that are around it and kind of blend it into the middle of this. So literally, it's just going to be a single click, boom, and that's gone. And let's do this one. One, I'll do this one one more time. I got that perfect. Two of the chunks gone. Let me undo that one, Control-Z on my keyboard. And just to show you what would happen, let's increase the size of this brush. And let's say you come here with too big of a healing tool. It's going to grab that white line right there, and it's going to try to blend it in the middle. That's, that's, gonna, that's not going to work. Control-Z, decrease by using the comma on your keyboard right about there. And we can heal that and just kind of cover this. Like I said, it's taking the pixels around and blending it to what the part that you were trying to cover up. Um, let me zoom out. I'm going to control minus. Now on this one, uh, what I'm going to do with the clone stamp is, so on the clone stamp, um, it always starts off when you first bring up the clone stamp. You have this little target. This is going to set or create the stamp. And wherever you click, uh, just for sake of example, I'm going to click and create my stamp right here with this, um, this blue sock. Okay, so let me do a single click. The moment you, after you click, it brings you to the stamp tool. And you could, again, increase the size, period, period, period to increase. Now what this does is, I'm going to go one more time. I'm going to click and drag. And as you can see, look at the target right there on the left. It's grabbing whatever that target and copying it over here to this side. All right. Now, hmm, that's actually kind of cool. Now, let's go ahead and control Z. Now, also, as a reminder, with the clone stamp, it is a regular brush, just like everything starts off with a brush. So in some cases, you're going to want to have a large brush, and sometimes you're going to have a hard brush also. So let's try this one. Let's do one more time. You know this um, using the clone stamp. Okay, now we need to recreate the stamp. Every time you make the stamp, you have to hold shift on your keyboard. So I'm going to hold shift. It turns into the little target icon. And I'm going to put the target right here on the soccer ball. And hold that. And my clone stamp is this exact same side of this ball right now. I could come over here and I can just start adding. I'm basically using the stamp to create to add balls all over this scene. And every time I'm doing it, every time you click, watch this, you could click, you could see the target reappear on that ball. Okay, so the stamp allows you to duplicate something. 
Let's undo that. Control Z, Control Z, 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 Z. All right. Well, for the sake of this assignment, we are covering it. We're going to try to remove um, this defensive player in the white uniform. And we're going to do that again by the clone stamp. Now, what works best with, in this case, I'm probably going to turn down the softness. I'm sorry, to increase softness so it blends a little bit better. If you have a hard brush, it's going to kind of, you'll see the edges of the part that you're stamping. So I'm going to increase the size. Again, I need to reset my stamp. I'm going to create my new stamp by holding shift, hold shift. There's my target. I'm going to come up here in the stand of this crown, single click. Now let go shift. Now when I come over, it's going to be copying that area. And as you can see, and if you click and drag, sometimes I like to single click. Sometimes I like to click and drag. It just depends. Try something and see if it works. See if it doesn't. And for the sake of this, to make it look more realistic, actually, I think I might have that brush a little bit too soft. It's a little bit, let's, let's turn it down. Let's try this. Um, I'm going to reset it so you're not repeating the same colors. I'm going to hold shift. Let's grab this part of the crowd and... There we go. That looks a little bit more blunt. Okay, but as you can see, sometimes it starts to repeat a pattern. So I'm going to undo those ones and kind of move it around a little bit. Maybe we'll even grab right over here. I'm going to hold shift, reset my brush. Let's click over here. I'm going to kind of move around and grab different parts. Hold shift, grab this brush. And as you can see, little by little, you can almost you can start to see. Um, now... And this one, I've got a little more work to do because it's repeating the same pattern. It doesn't look very realistic. All right, but you don't, I don't need to complete it right now. This is for you to experiment with and, and use. Um, as for this part, for the legs in the grass, we're going to have to reset the brush again. So hold shift. I'll come over here. And I'm just going to kind of brush. And it's kind of copying this area. Click and drag. Um, now, this is the part where you might want to turn it down to a little bit uh, decrease the softness, turn it into a harder brush. When you're trying to create something like and uh, something like the purple area right here, comma, 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 to decrease the size of the brush, I'm going to hold shift, create a new stamp right here in the purple, and let's try dragging this. Nope, a little bit too hard of a brush. In this case, I think I do need to uh, increase the softness on this. So, so but hopefully from this tutorial, you get the example, you get the idea of how to use this. The way you're going to learn is just jump in there, um, play with the healing brush on the grass and the, and the clone stamp to try to remove this player as realistic as possible. All right. Hope this video helps. Have fun. Good luck.